our neighborhood changed a lot. All the stuff was gone. We still trying to build stuff where the Katrina damaged it. Hurricane Katrina decimated New Orleans' Lower Ninth Ward. 80% of the mostly African-American neighborhood was permanently displaced or perished in the storm. Others, like Harry Sims, chose to rebuild, not just homes, but a community. Everybody have their village to take care of. If you live anywhere, that's your village. See, I've been here 62 years, so I know what my neighborhood needs. Mr. Parker started because of the drug situation that we had around him. Yeah, I lost my dad at a young age, about three. He was on the um, street selling drugs and they killed him and stuff. The drugs is right around the schools and if I can save a kid from going through that, if you're a boxer, you're gonna be running all the time. You're gonna be exercising, you ain't got no time for to be with the drug kid. So I came up with the idea of buying the property and putting a ring up in here. Let's see what I can do. Harry founded and self-financed the Running Bear Boxing Club in the early 90s and welcomed any neighborhood kid who was willing to follow the ground rules. The rules is pay attention, don't be bad, listen, and no fighting outside the ring. You can't fight nobody on the street, period. Katrina destroyed Sim's home and makeshift gym, but out of tragedy came a great boxing lesson, resilience. I done spent close to about $100,000 to come back, fix the place up, fix the ring up. That's just an outside ring for right now. But once I get it inside, it's gonna be a beautiful ring, and the kids are gonna love it. For Harry students, Running Bear Boxing Club is a daily reminder that a fighting spirit can overcome anything. We do hard work and dedication, and when we take it outside the ring in the life, you gotta stay determined. The kids like trying to be like me and say, I don't follow his footsteps. I'm feel proud of myself. I'm giving myself a pat on the back. <laughs> <laughs>